It's so bright. I thought I died. It's so bloody dark, it's too dark for the camera, and this is the best I can actually do. Bloody bright, but it'll get the job done. We've got light, we've got steak, and I'm bloody excited about this one. Coffee rubbed steak. That's what I'm going to do with the uh, smashed potatoes, a little smoked, uh, quinoa, which I think is underused, and it's bloody delicious. Uh, very big in the south, co coffee rubbed steaks. So, um, yeah, that's what I'm going to do. That's what we're going to have for supper, and I'm going to crack on. So what we need to do is get the quinoa going. First is uh, onion. Garlic, quinoa, beautiful, water. And you can use stock, that's fine. So first, dice your onion. Then just thinly slice your garlic. Right, so the pan's on, so we're gonna get some olive oil. Get that in. And I'm gonna toast the quinoa, just to add some more flavor. So add my onions, add my garlic. On a low heat, touch your salt, and then just sweat these until they're soft. You really want to toast this out for about five minutes, just to get some extra flavor. And what I like to do, I just like to get a bit of chili flakes, just for some kick, or you can add these at the end. And also, I just like to use some ancho chili. Just gives it a nice smokiness, and if you can't get that, just uh, use smoked paprika. Give it a good mix, cook it out for about one minute, and then add the water. So we use one cup of quinoa, two cups of stock or water, bring it up to a boil, simmer, cover for about 20 minutes. All right, this should be cooked. When you see that the water's gone, it's all evaporated, that's when it's cooked. Quinoa is so underused, it's unbelievable. You can do anything to that. It's like a blank canvas. You can add any flavor to that and it's like rice, it's beautiful. You need to use it more, bloody use it more. So at the end, I'm just gonna add some green onion and we'll season it. Season, good mix. Oh yeah. Baby Dutch spuds. Smashed potatoes, that's what we're going to be doing. Smashed buds, um, you can use fingling potatoes, but I love these. I'm going to do some amazing smashed buds. I'm going to show you a technique um, that's so flavorful, really, really nice. Just, just watch. Right, they're boiling, take around about 20 minutes. I don't want them, I don't want to overcook them. I want them to have a little bit of texture, a little bit of oomph, because I'm going to roast them. Right, I've removed the water. I'm going to get my tray, and um, we're going to squash them. And they've still got a little bit of give. Do you know what I mean? I don't want them too soft. Give these a little squash. Little drizzle of olive oil, sprinkle of smoked paprika, little touch of the salt and pep. All right, in the oven until golden brown. Happy days. Right, let's uh, let's make this coffee rub. I'm deadly serious. If if you want to take cooking seriously, food seriously, travel, you'll learn so much. It's unbelievable. I'm serious. Hmm. Starbucks. If you haven't tried a coffee rub on a steak, you've got to try it. It's so simple to make and the flavor is unbelievable. So add your coffee, garlic powder, onion powder, sugar, and for some smokiness, smoked paprika. Don't worry, the sugar's not gonna make your steak sweet. It's gonna balance all these flavors out. So get in with your hands and mix it thoroughly. Mmm. It's that smokiness, it's that smoked paprika and that coffee. That combo just gets me every time. And that's what makes it so delicious. The smokiness and the coffee. Look at that beauty. I've uh, got an eight ounce uh, New York strip. Um, it's cold now, and before we do anything, we need to let that sit at room temperature. Before we do a thing. Season the steak. 
I now add some of that beautiful coffee rub just over the top. Yeah, that sizzle. Beautiful. I'm looking forward to this. All I've got to do now is grill the spuds to extra char, extra smokiness, and grill the steak, the ribeye steak. That's from the short loin. It's from the short loin, it's behind the ribs, so it doesn't get used very much, which makes it a beautiful cut. It's the chef's dream, nice and tender. That's what makes it nice and tender. Like a, you know, like a cow's arse rump, it gets used a lot. So it's, it uses more muscle, so it's a little bit more tougher. But that, my friend, is a chef's dream. So I'm gonna grill it. Talking simple as that. Mm. I just love that deep dark coffee crust. Uh, it, it's rich, it's flavoursome, maybe it, it just comes together. The quinoa is beautiful, adds a nice lightness to the dish. And uh, the grilled smash spuds are unbelievable. They're really, really nice. It works. If you haven't tried a coffee rub steak, give it a go. It's unbelievable. Thanks, guys. <laughs>